welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do how to display an emoji picker in uh, react native's new architecture without using any third party library so uh, first things first like if you are displaying a text field uh, don't use this approach because uh, if you are displaying a text field uh, any type of keyboard like an android or ios keyboard by default already has an emoji picker built inside it so don't use this approach but if you want to display emojis uh, where a keyboard is not used uh, then this approach might be useful to you so here you can see that on android i am displaying a bunch of emojis and we don't have to hard code these values these are automatically given by the android os itself and similarly for ios now if i select one uh, emoji i am just sending it back to react native side here you can see that there is something called undefined as well uh, this is a bug in react native uh, i can't really do anything about it you can just add an if check if it is not equal to undefined then only log it to the console uh, okay and here you can see if i try to pick any kind of an uh, emoji it uh, it is displayed on the uh, console similarly for ios so for ios it is little bit more involved we have to display a button or uh, you can take a ui view if you want to and this button is a native button so you can't have a react native button because uh, in ios it displays a picker so if i click on this button here you can see it displays the picker and then you can select any emoji if you want to so here you can see this rn location is hard coded from my side like i forgot to remove it but uh, yeah i will show you where exactly is this hard coded you can just remove it uh, in your case so let's get started as usual create a react native application and you, you will have to enable the new architecture for it so for android you can just search for new arc enabled inside the android gradle dot properties file and make it as true i have already done that and for ios you will have to cd to your ios directory uh, inside terminal and then uh, run this bit of code so this will enable the new architecture for uh, ios as well next uh, so we will be using fabric so if you want to check the documentation because i will be copying a lot of code you can check this now uh, what you will have to do first is uh, you will have it i'll close all the files for now Shit. close all okay first you will have to create this folder called rtn emoji view inside that you will first have to create this uh, package.json file again i have copy pasted this from docs only thing changes this name over here this name over here and this name over here next you will have to uh, that rtn emoji view create this pod specs file as well rtn emoji view pod spec again i have copy pasted this from docs and only thing change is this uh, name rtn emoji view go to uh, js rtn uh, emoji view native components dot ts okay and here you will have to uh, copy paste everything from the docs uh, the one thing which i have added i have added this event because we want a callback once an emoji has been picked and here i am referencing referencing this event over here and on emoji picked i have called this callback as and this name should be changed everything else sh should remain the same next uh, what you will have to do is uh, go to android go to build.gradle and uh, here i have again copy pasted everything from the docs only i have added this line over here uh, this namespace over here and i have added this kotlin standard lib and here you will have to add this emoji picker which is a, uh, a gradle uh, library from uh, google itself so we don't have to worry about it uh, also i am using hdk version as 34 uh, okay and make sure you change the namespace over here as well next inside src main java com rtn emoji view firstly i have created emoji view dot kt uh, first go to this emoji event dot kt so this uh, file is for our callback so uh, again i have copy pasted this from the docs and here one thing which you have to do is whatever callback you have named inside your typescript file it should be the same but make sure the o is capital and you have to add this top at the very start i'm not sure why exactly and here again i have copy pasted this from docs and this also i have copy pasted this from docs uh, 
okay and here uh, we will be sending the emoji that is been picked and this will help us to send it back to the native side next create an emoji view package.kt again i have copy pasted this from docs only this name has been changed and this name has been changed next i have created emoji view manager.kt again i have copy pasted this from docs only thing to notice uh, make sure you change all these names over here uh, this as well only important thing is you will have to add this extra bit of code because we are using callback so make sure whatever name you have written over on side inside your typescript file you make sure you use the same again you will have to add top at the very start and this o should be capital and here we have to write registration name again i'm not really sure what this registration name is uh, but yeah i have just copied it from the documentation this should be the same what you have defined it in the typescript file next here is the exact uh, our implementation details so firstly what i have done i am extending from linear layout i have taken some layout params i am instantiating our emoji picker view uh, then i have set the orientation as vertical and assign layout params to our linear layout same for our emoji view as well and i have set the grid columns as 9 so you can change however you want to and i have added it to our linear layout then i have to use this bit of code because uh, the uh, emoji views were not getting displayed properly that's why i have to use a bit of work around over here uh, and here once an emoji is been picked here you can see that we are sending it back to the uh, react uh, to the react native side so uh next what you will have to do is go to open your terminal go to the root of your react native project then run this command once you do that you will have to do cd space dot dot so it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this command but before running this command make sure you replace rnf with your project name my project name is rnf that's why i've written rnf over here over here as well as over here and the folder name rtn my rtn emoji view next you will have to cd to your android and then run this command and here you will have to cd to ios and then run this command over here uh, next inside ios uh, what you will have to do is firstly you will have to open this ios folder inside xcode uh, and go to pod file and firstly you will have to add this pod mc emoji picker also make sure you make uh, the ios uh, deployment target at least 14 or 13 i have set it as 15 uh, but I, I think by default it is level uh, th so when you try to do pod install it won't work that's why you will have to add this pod mc emoji picker and make sure this is at least 14 uh, or 13 uh, but i have kept it as 15 next uh, close xcode go to your terminal and then again uh, you will have to run this command so just don't just run pod install pod install is for the old architecture you will have to run this entire command because we are using the new architecture then again once that is done open uh, xcode again or ios folder inside xcode create the swift file xcode will ask do you want to create bridging header click yes next uh, you will have to create uh, so we won't be using the callback which we have defined on the typescript file for ios because we are using swift and using callbacks makes it more even more difficult uh, then here you can see uh, firstly you will have to add this uh, header file event emitter dot uh, I have copy pasted this from stack overflow and also this objective C file uh, again I have copy pasted this from uh, stack overflow next I have created so this file would already be created for you uh, because we have created the swift file so here you will have to add this event emitter next uh, here you again this i have copy pasted from docs only file name has been changed and uh, this name has been changed so we have to create our header file next we have to create an object to c++ file just so create an object to c file and make sure the extension is dot mm otherwise it won't work so import your header file and make sure again this copied from docs only this names has been changed according to what we have defined rnap should be your bridging header name so mine is rnap dash bridging dash header so rnap should be uh, your bridging header name and whatever is your bridging header name write it over instead of instead of rnap and dash swift dot h will be same for everyone then we have to include this uh, rct fabric as well and again this has been copied from docs only this names has been changed uh, at appropriate lines and here we are creating variable for our swift file next this has been copied from docs as well and only this name has been changed uh, this has been copied from docs and here we are instantiating our view 
make sure you assign some width and height to our view otherwise it won't work and here we are instantiating our swift file to occupy the entire width and height and adding it as a sub view and here uh, again this has been copied from docs and only this names has been changed uh, next we will have to create a manager class again copied from docs make sure the extension is dot mm and again this has been copied from docs this has been copied from docs uh, no sorry only uh, the names has been changed otherwise everything is copied from docs next i have created a swift file over here and here i have imported ui kit mc emoji picker as well as react i am extending mc emoji picker delegate here i have created a button if you are not creating a button that's fine as well according to me but the only change which you will have to do is you will have to write self over here and you will have to uh, so currently i am displaying the emoji picker once the button is clicked right so you might have to write an uh, gesture recognizer on your ui view or um, somehow uh, automatically uh, call this code once you are uh, inside the init method itself uh, so i think that might work so but here i have created a button and i have added this click listener to it as well as some ns layout constraints i have added and this on button click here we are uh, like instantiating mc emoji picker view controller and uh, yeah presenting it to the uh, uh, ui and once you pick an emoji uh, this method gets called and here you can see we are sending the data back to react native side and this is like mandatory method which we have to override so if you want to dismiss the emoji picker once one emoji is clicked you can make this as true but i have kept it as false because uh, once you click outside the emoji picker it will get displayed uh, i don't want uh, it will get dismissed uh, i don't want to dismiss it just by picking one emoji picker at, as it might be annoying to the user next uh, i go to the android folder go to build.gradle and add this kotlin version over here also here you can see i have made this as 34 and this as 34 as well and add this line as well uh, next go to app build.gradle add this apply plugin kotlin android and here you will have to add this compile hdk version i have set the min hdk version as 23 target hdk version is 34 and here also i have added this kotlin standard lib uh, i think that should be it uh, yeah now to use it uh, what you will have to do is uh, i think uh, like you uh, while running this you might have got this error because like i should have told you guys that uh, we will have to add kotlin before uh, before running this command inside the main android folder like inside the build.gradle over here and over here so if you got an error make sure you cd to android again and run this command and that should resolve the issue next uh, here you just have to add for android here you can see i'm using the uh, callback on uh, uh, emoji picked so here you can get the value here you can add this un undefined check because we were getting undefined so something like this uh, if uh, value dot native event not equal to equal to undefined okay then only i will log it to the console so you can use something like this and for ios i'm just uh yeah the, i'm using it directly and inside the callback so this is the rn location you don't need this you can just remove it like i have copy pasted it from my other tutorial so f here you have to add this native event emitter which you can uh, import from react native and native modules as well and we are listening for our on my event okay so here you will get for ios as well so yeah that's it thank you for watching